Okay, let's start. How about let's talk about your ethics a little bit for a little bit? Because considering <laughs> where, from where I'm standing... Did, did fucking train wrecks put glasses on to look smarter? Did he think it was going to work? I feel like train wrecks is the type of person to put glasses on because he thinks it makes him look smarter. How about let's talk about your ethics a little bit for a little bit? <laughs> I've never seen him wear glasses before ever. Now, it's possible that these are his real glasses. It's possible this is his real prescription. However, <laughs> like, I don't know. Get ready. He's going to juice it up like 15 different times. This stream debate was such an L. I mean, of course it is. I think it did work, but then the liquor leveled him back to... Wait, he was drinking during the debate? But why? But why? Because considering where, from where I'm standing, I practice what I preach. You are trying to poke holes in that. You think the moderator angle you is an adequate one. You so you're going to keep trying to put that down. Go ahead. Tell us about your, tell us about how you brother, make merch. I don't, tell brother. us about how much money you get paid from crypto gambling I, sponsorships. I, I, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Keep an eye out what he does with his glasses when he's getting rolled in an argument. Okay, I will. Um, Trent is talking to Will Meff about the uh, Turkey charity, and then things slide completely out of control, and then um, Hassan and then uh, calls out Trent for crypto gambling. You want me to link it to the thread or not? You remember this happened? What the fuck did I just hear? What did I just listen to? Genuinely, like, what was that? What? <laughs> I, okay, I will start actively trying to translate, okay? I apologize for not trying to translate sooner. And like, this way- he knows, what, yeah, he knows what it is, I know what it is, yes. Okay, then how about, how about, Train, you walk me through your initial uh, uh, point. What did you say to Will, and what did you say? I wanted to the call initially to- find, If you can find a clip, that would be to, very uh, helpful. reach out uh, or chatter. to put out That'd an That would be very branch, helpful. Right, I was talking about how I love the podcast. Um, among other, among other things, right? And then the conversation came up. He brought that up as an example, and I clarified the example because at the end of the day, all of branch or not, I think there's an avenue regarding you know um, the socialism in which you know Hassan preaches but doesn't act with, right? Oh there, there's God, that avenue dude. where I don't think we'll ever come to terms with together, right? Like, I just need people to understand that you can't personally, one person cannot enact socialism. That's not how that works. Th you can't, that would be like saying, mm, you know, I'm trying, dude. I'm so sick that I'm, I literally can't even come up with anything. This is so pathetic. This is crazy. That's crazy. Today is not a great day for my poor, poor brain. So... That, that is the disconnect. I don't know if him and I will find that middle ground for, but that didn't come up because I went on there to talk about it. That just kind of came up passively. If you watch the clip, the entire clip, that was generally a positive call, right? I think oh. you kind of saw- Yeah, you can't say that it was a positive call when you were throwing like insults in half the time. What? <laughs> what? These people, oh my God, what is wrong with chat? Jesus. These people really think that socialism is when you just give away all of your money. These people really think that, man. All the clip and he picked that, those like 10 seconds out. As far as like socialism being at odds with uh, my, my mode of existence, um, that is another thing that I am very, uh, that is another thing that I've been very consistent on with respect to like, uh, having anti-capitalist values while simultaneously still being a fucking dumbass who likes commodities that are luxurious. Uh, that has been a consistent talking point for myself for a very long time. Um, so I don't know why you think that ultimately conflicts. Uh, socialism is not a poverty cult. Socialism or anti-capitalism or wanting to make things at least marginally better for working class Americans is not no matter how much people say, oh, lol, Bernie Sanders has three houses fucking owned or whatever the fuck, um, that is not at odds with the way I live. Um, this is a point of contention, though. I will agree. There is a, there's broad debate on the subject matter. There's many different kinds of uh, ways of approaching it. But ultimately, it's about uh, the relation to the means of production. That's it. That's all this is. And it's about giving workers more autonomy. It's not about doing charity, okay? I've never said socialism is charity, even yeah. though I myself engage in charitable acts. I've been fairly consistent on that as well uh, with respect to just doing it regardless of whatever people say, even if they shit on me. I think XQC can advocate for that as well. I've literally had private conversations with them many, many years ago even uh, about like, it's a good thing. People will shit on you regardless. You should still do it. Um, but yeah, socialism is exclusively and almost entirely 
about the relations of the means of production and how society is developed around the current uh, organization of the economy and how commodities are produced. Okay. So, so you're saying that if there's a distinct point in what he sees socialism and the action you can do to a further socialism and, um, <laughs> Oh, sorry. I just got it went back to fucking XQC speaking. <laughs> what is that? What? <laughs> uh, okay, it makes it makes sense. You trying, do you agree with what he said? Is that what he said? No. He, he says that that, that, that <laughs> socialism. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Right. It's more the means of production and the worker stuff, and not 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 the whole spread the wealth thing. And I think you you I think you say, oh, you should spread the wealth more type shit, right? I would agree. So yeah, I spreading would agree the wealth. Song. Spreading the wealth is not socialism. If that was the case, then Jeff Bezos would be the number one socialist. You know what I mean? He he, That's albeit a, a, a very minor part of his uh, overall wealth, he gives back fucking hundreds of millions of dollars. Uh, that he would be literally a socialist if that was the case. So I, th I think the point is this, right? Preaching socialism without action is literally just capitalism. Do you understand? If you preach the <laughs> idealistic way that society should operate. Oh, my God. He's got his like. He... <laughs> oh, this is so sad. Oh, <laughs> I mean... <laughs> okay, I'm going to do a little bit of bullying. Have you guys ever spectated like a bronze player before? And it's almost adorable. It's almost adorable how they just miss everything all the time. And they're like, like, have you guys ever watched like a 1v1 happening in your in your game, in a bronze game? And you watch them and both of them are just missing everything for like 30 seconds straight. And then they both decide they're done fighting. <laughs> like the game doesn't matter. All that matters is the thing that is happening. Just like both people missing literally everything. But... That's what I feel like watching Train. Like Train is just like he just like didn't listen to anything Hassan said, and then he was just like, "So l let me just explain. So to be to be to be very clear, the very simple thing that I need to explain." <laughs> Yet you don't implement any of those systems right within mm -hmm. your own. Uh, let's <laughs> no, say proportion within your own community. Can show we that these. A, can, we, can we put a systems counter on? <laughs> am I am I too toxic if I put a system counter? Is that toxic of me to do that? <laughs> I hope he doesn't see the stream and send his goons to harass me. <laughs> These systems That's, can work. Okay, remember, guys, take a shot for every time you hear the word systems. Just wait. Do you, no, 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 no. I love that. No, that's actually a, a great point. Uh, it's a great point. Uh, and it unfortunately fails to capture how inescapable uh, capitalism is. Do I benefit from it? Absolutely. I'm a profoundly fortunate person, something that I regularly acknowledge and talk about all the time. I'm very privileged. I'm very fortunate. These are things that I do not hide. I'm wealthy. Another thing that I do not hide. I don't know why people always say that I hide it. But, but do you ultimately, understand that? If, but ultimately, if, just... like, if cooper cooperatives can work individually, and I can point to socialization working in other countries for example like in european social democ uh, social democracies like norway even in canada it works better than the united states even though it has its flaws can we all like cheer though really quickly for hassan cutting his hair this looks so good i don't want to say better because i don't want people to be upset and also i always think i do think it's a little cringe to tell people what looks better and what looks worse because people should just do what makes them happy and stuff but I really do like this. <laughs> this and the mustache, they go so well. It all revolves around Train's paranoia and narcissism. He believes Hassan joined other streamers in complaining about reacting to MasterChef. And when Hassan got his own hate, it was because of his hypocrisy. Yeah, it's it, these people are like insane, guys. These people are insane. So there already there are ex there are instances of like socialization, not socialism, working in other countries, and yet that has still not changed people's minds in the United States of America. So I don't know why you think that like uh, it, something completely and entirely removed from socialism itself, which would be me like I guess doing socialism in my own community. I don't know how you you would do that, but I would love to hear your perspective. Uh, I don't know how that would genuinely change people's minds in that regard. I like XQC's face. <laughs> oh, look, I know this chatter. This chatter comes in chats in our chat. 
But as far as like my own form of commodity production, I work with union labor in union shops in the United States of America, and it's domestically manufactured uh, when I do merchandising. Uh, and I have uh, some form of cooperative organization where uh, the, the people that I work with, not my workers per se, but people that I work with, whether it be my producers or editors, have full autonomy over their times, full autonomy over how much they make, full autonomy over uh, a percentage of the, the uh, uh, profits or even more. Not only that, but they also have editorial independence, like in the case of Austin Ox. Fucking, who- dude, fucking train wrecks is not even in this planet he's not even in this planet he's not listening to anything have you guys ever had conversations with like your family members and you can tell that they're not listening they're just waiting to speak that's exactly what's happening like that's literally what's happening right now he's just like oh my god hurry up and finish so i can talk like you would not be having this shit eating grin if you were actually listening for two seconds (laughs) he do stop a hundred times yeah he's just randomly smiling thinking of his responses yeah yeah you can say what he wants and i'm not going to you know go after him unless he's making an erroneous mistake so that's Which it he has, that's that's you know that's that's my that's my perspective and I think I, uh, I think I, I try to live is, by my values as, as best as possible. And I think I, I do it a decently, a decent job. I think at that. That perspective is convenient, in my opinion. Like <laughs> it's a convenient perspective. <laughs> okay. So in the what, two minutes that he was speaking, that's what he came up with really oh my god dude it's the smugness that i can't handle you know it's the smugness that i can't handle that he thinks he he really thinks he's cooking and he doesn't know that he's cooking nothing (laughs) Hmm. well you've activated my trap card (laughs) that's a convenient convenient thinking convenient perspective (laughs) perspective to have right like if i i would accept that perspective wait why is it convenient i'll tell you why I'll i'll tell you why so Everything that you do would be completely fine, right? If you moved away from the from these extremisms, right? And, and you moved more so to the middle and you're like, okay, huh? listen, guys, I'm a capitalist, but I believe in socialist systems to be mixed in with the capitalist system. <laughs> Someone has to be trying to feed him talking points and it's not working. Someone has to be, I'm sorry. There, Cause this is like, this is literally what it, it sounds like someone, Obviously, we know who, guys. Come on. Who else would it be? Come on, guys. Come on. (laughs) It's so, this is so silly. (laughs) It's like, I don't know, man. I don't know. Have you guys ever tried to copy homework in a class that you were failing and you didn't even know how to rephrase the sentences? Like you're like, hey, bro, let me copy your homework. I ch- I'll change it up a little, I swear. And you're looking at the answers and you're like. What is it? What am I looking at? I don't know what I'm looking at. <laughs> and so you're doing your best, but it's not making sense. <laughs> That's literally what I'm watching. That's what I'm watching right now. Because all Hassan is saying is socialism is a system where, you know, like, th- that I believe that the workers should own the the um, means to production. And, you know, I try and enact this in my own way by allowing people who uh, work with me, whether it's like with merch or with video editing or whatever, for them to own some portion of their work or to own all of it. If they're doing all of the work, then, yeah, that's that sounds great to me. I think that that's a fair system. And then this guy is just like, well, isn't it convenient? Why don't you just call yourself a capitalist with socialist opinions? It's like, what are you fucking talking about? (laughs) Oh, my God. Also, Radzak, what the fuck? Thank you for the huge hundred dono. I didn't even see this. Oh, my God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm so sorry. I'm... I'm using a different computer drive because my computer fucking crashed on me. So I can't see alerts and stuff. If you sub or anything and I miss it, I'm really sorry. 
systems to create a better society, right? To grab the, the, the good of both. You understand? But the problem is you're completely shitting on capitalism. You're completely eat the rich, anti-capitalist. Uh, yes. I'm, I'm losing you again. Everyone can hear you except for me. I'm sorry. Can you hold on? Uh, we're going to have to do this again one more time. Let me turn off the camera and turn it on again. Oh, I, I can hear you again. Thank you. I have, a, I have a Discord issue. Sorry, 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 sorry. I really do want to hear what you have to say. Can you start from the top? Yeah, can I juice up real quick then? Since we had a little disconnect. Juice. Wait, what? Yeah. Yeah, he's got to juice up. It takes a second. Um, I, I, huh? I, okay. yeah. <laughs> what? Wait, I want to... I'll let him explain his own thing. What? But he's, he's got to juice up. He, he, he never juice up? I was oh, let him juice up. Like, yeah, come on, let's go play this. You it's going to be a Okay, can I ask you guys a genuine question? Is the juice up just like a joke, like a, it's just like, like a meme, like it's water, or is it actually sugar? Is it actually sniffa sugar? <laughs> it's not a joke. Oh, oh no. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's it's basically, it's not a secret that train did in the past at the very least quite a bit of sugar okay sugar emote pj sugar however i don't know if he still does right it could just be like a nicotine pen for his rage and his anger but I, I don't know, so, you know. We can only spe speculate, but he juiced up at least 20 times in a few hours. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, no. When he talks about juicing up, he's talking about vaping. He said he doesn't like doing it on camera. Oh, does he just... It does look really stupid to vape, IMO. If you have one of the clunky vapes. I will juice up. Yeah, by the way, this is, this is internal service on page three, Fair. by the way, about juicing up. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to pay for what you said. I'm just, I'll, just let, I'll just let him go through it. Also, th th there's a bunch of actual interesting points that I have that, that, that I had uh, uh, made note of. So I didn't want this to get too sidetracked. I'm, I am taking notes, though, about things that I think you guys can make amends on. Okay. okay. Like the earlier point, I think the first point, I think you... I owe him some sort of uh, a comment, and on the second point, he owes you one. I think you guys are like one to one what? on the things that you guys should, should say to each other. But I, I mean, I'm, I'm trying to be. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I do. No, I do I, think I'm laughing at. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is he saying? I'm laughing at one of your chatters. I'm actually one guying in your chat. Hassan absolutely hates the fact that he can't pedal out cheap merch made in China for four cents because he built his brand around being the SJW guy. Well, dude, what is wrong with people? Like, how mentally ill are people? Why won't... I, I've never understood this, Okay. Why don't people just believe things at face value? Why do people feel the need to like come up with a bunch of different reasons and excuses why something is the way that it is? Like like the QAnon people, I think is the best example. Like the QAnon people, it's so weird. It's like, why do you think that there needs to be some like lizard people? You know, money is a good enough reason for these people to fuck you over. But then they'll keep going for whatever reason. It's so strange. It's so strange. I'm privately mentally ill. You are publicly mentally ill. We are not the same. Exactly. They're liars themselves, so they project. Honestly, that would make sense. I just think, like, listen, if someone has a history of, like, being, like, a fake motherfucker. So, for example, Logan Paul. Like, if Logan Paul adopts some unique, exotic animal tomorrow and he's like, guys, I swear, this time I'm really going to take care of it. I'm sorry. You had, like, three chances and you fucked up on every single one. So... I'm just not going to believe you anymore. Sorry. But if someone hasn't given you a reason to stop believing them, why? It's so it's like the most mentally ill thing you can do is to get online and speculate about someone else's like mental state and be like, hmm, I bet Hassan is just mad because he doesn't get to exploit cheap Chinese labor since he built his whole brand on being a socialist! Exclamation point XD LOL. It's so weird to do that. That's so not normal, man. 
that is an incredibly cynical perspective. And uh, oh. I know that that is only shared by people who literally cannot see that oh. people sometimes a actually do end up living their values. That says mm -hmm. more about you, Ani Ram, than myself. I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, if you want to get lectured, I can do that for you right now. But that just only shows how cynical you are. It's no different than like Aiden Ross constantly being like, oh, everyone is in it for the money. It's like, yeah, bro, you are. you are. Yeah, I get it. <clears throat> okay. Sorry. Anyway, 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 okay. Anyway, anyway. But now I want to hear, yeah. I want to hear Trainwreck's uh, perspective on One the second. issue. Trainwreck. Yeah. Well, I guess it would be train wrecks in that situation, or maybe train wrecks. Anyways, okay. hey, Jesus. <laughs> uh, go ahead, say the thing about the socialism, capitalism type shit. Okay, so if you moved your like ideations or whatever the fuck you call it, more so to uh, you know, <clears throat> I'm a capitalist, but I believe in socialist values. I believe in socialist systems. I believe in more of a mix, right? You know, if you push oh, did it plus two to systems? Oh, okay, thank you. More to the middle, middle left. It would make sense to exactly what you do. It would make sense to your entire business model. But to sit there, this guy, I, I feel so bad for Hassan having to deal with that. I feel so bad for Hassan having to deal with someone that is just this papega. He's like trying to tell him, no, you should call yourself a sock down. And Hassan's like, but I'm not. And he's like, but you should call yourself one. And he's like, but I'm not. And he's like, but you should call yourself one. <laughs> is that is that the whole is that the whole vod? It's just that over and over again. And Wait, what? And, but and, address and, why it's conflicting. Oh, I'm, I'm getting there. But to sit there, right, and to sell, right. Think about this, okay? Your entire business model, in my opinion, is that of a capitalist business model, right? You sell how the world should be right while mm -hmm. justifying not implementing those very systems of how the world should be by saying you're just participating in society that's fine you can participate in society but at the very least in the position that you're in making what you make in my opinion the words are not enough you should be implementing these very systems within your own community to show that these systems work Do you understand on a proportional level if you cannot implement the very systems you preach that should be implemented within america into your third community of thirty thousand, then i would just say you're grandstanding and you're just selling an okay. idea to make money yourself right like that's great to me, that's, no, that's a great point that's a great in, point in you're you're absolutely correct on it if your understanding of what i advocate for was was sound and I think this is a normal misunderstanding, and a lot of people have this misunderstanding. I just gave you examples of, of a relation that I have where I am producing commodities with the help of others that are involved in the process. And I told you that I utilize, when I am actually producing commodities, utilize the same values that I uphold, okay? Uh, whether it be unionized domestic uh, employees. And, and yeah, I love how Hassan showed Train how he implemented those systems in his work and Train just ignored him. He literally, no, why are we, don't call him brain wreck. <laughs> he's going to start rubbing his brow ridge like he's so above it. He does it like 20 plus times. Jesus Christ. No. <laughs> you know what? I have to give credit to Train Rex for one thing, okay? I know it's like train wreck, by the way, but like, I don't know. I've seen people call him train wrecks. I don't know, but I just call him train wrecks. I have to give him credit for one thing, okay? One thing that he does better than Hassan does, okay? Which is have an honest username. Hassan is not a buy. Train wrecks is a train wreck. So credit where credit is due, okay? Excellent branding, excellent naming. Hassan, you could take a note or two from that, okay, for being a fucking fake buy and lying to all of us. Kind of impolite, kind of rude. He's uh, that I am uh, when I'm whenever I'm. Oh, I forgot to tweet that I'm live because today is a a special day. Because normally I'm I don't stream on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, but I had to stream this because I I can't miss Trump getting arrested. I would feel like an idiot if I didn't stream. Okay, let me put this on. Working on merchandise or whether it be having a cooperative podcast or having full autonomy and, and having everyone set their own wages uh, with relation to uh, how much profit or how little profit a, a certain venture makes. That is as close as you can get to like multiple different formations of trade unionism 
uh, an anarcho-syndicalist perspective and also some level of socialism. So from that perspective, you are objectively incorrect. In most other circumstances, I have no control over it. There's nothing I can do. Like uh, as far as there is, you, know, you, the, the, you like there, as far as like turning Amazon into a cooperative cor corporation. I can't do that. It is a massive, almost trillion dollar operation that I have no control over. Okay, so what you're saying is that is that for you, the socialism aspects are only the means of production and the, and, and the workers and the, the fact that the unit unions are not. It's all about the, all about the workers. Okay, I have a question then. When you have a podcast, the different pod, how much are the guests? And producers are paid on that show. Um, one third of the entire revenue. The guests are paid. No, the guests are not paid. The guests can come on voluntarily, of course, if they would like to get paid. We would, of course, pay them if there was like a guest fee or anything. But we don't pay guests. Uh, we sense. are not interested. We're not interested in uh, having a guest on specifically to to make money. I don't think that 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 would be weird. I think that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, uh, but but uh, yeah, uh, March March gets one third of the entire revenue generated at the moment uh, from from uh, uh, the the Fear End podcast operation, which you can go and subscribe to at patreon.com slash fear end. Listen, every system that you mentioned in which you apply <laughs> your socialist values to, you are making money from these systems. And that's fine. That's okay. But the areas that I think should be more consistent in are the ones where you take a percentage of your wealth. Now, listen, this argument that your chat gives or you give or your loyalists give of, oh, so if you're a socialist, if you broke on the streets, that example in itself has to be the most delusional, extreme example. Why come Wait, back? I don't know what you're what talking about. Explain what you mean. Uh, I'm, I'm trying I'm, to. I'm, trying I'm a little to. slow. I'm a dumb guy. I, I, need you to, I need you to break it down for me a little bit. I, I'm serious. Okay. What so do you mean? You, I, just gave you, I just gave you an example of where I do this, and I want you to... To, to, to explain what you mean. What I mean is, do you not preach a society where healthcare is free, a, a society where education is not as backwards it is, as it is in, yes. in America today, right? These systems, in my opinion, you are in a position where if you truly believe that implementing these systems are a real thing, you are in a position to do something that matches what you say. Otherwise, you're just selling false hope in a business model fashion, which is capitalism, right? In a nutshell, to mm -hmm. make the money. That's easy to do, but you are in a position to do more. Do you, understand? you, want, me to, do you want me to open up a hospital? Because I think you're- uh, it's, not, and, it's, it's not about opening up a hospital. It's not what about is it about? Give me, give me specific examples of what I can do so I can uh, tell you if it's like feasible or not. Okay, so for example, okay, I know a lot of uh, your uh, vocal minority community argue that the mental health care program is a charity, right? But that program, the <laughs> okay, this might be a little too mean, and if it's too mean, you guys can tell me if I went too far. I'm a little sick, so I can't tell if I'm gonna be too mean, but, but. immediately bringing up your own charity when asked what else, what more am i supposed to do has to be the most transparent e-begging i've ever seen in my fucking life okay it is so <laughs> transparent the entire debate is him just being like so anyways can you back my my, my mental health thing because i need to fix my credibility <laughs> It's so, it's so embarrassing. Oh, dude. Oh, my God. I also really don't care, by the way, if it's a charity or not. It's just very tran transparent. <laughs> part of the charity that it is, is just the part in America, if we were to implement that program, right? Taxes would pay for the program. In yeah, this situation, absolutely. Real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick. In this situation, we don't have that luxury, right, of, of having a tax system to draw a lot of money from uh, the people. So, what's replacing it is the charity, charity aspect. To confuse that the system itself is a charity is in. It's not comparable to to, to the excuse of not doing it. This are you are you itself, asking me to provide everyone in my community healthcare? I'm a, I'm asking you to follow 
through with what you say. So to create, you would know, that the, be, system, would, create would, the system, create education as well, right? You could create a system oh in which God, you put oh a percentage shit. aside that you believe the rich should put aside in America and you implement that on a small scale to show that, listen, guys, this works. If we can do it, so can America. If you can't even do it yourself and you give you, you these are. excuses. So you want me to set up like a 501c3 specifically to like pay the hospital bills of every single member in the community that pays. No, 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 no. It's about creating a system. You understand? Ignore the actual <laughs> payment of. It's a system that reflects <laughs> what you preach and delivers it to people who do not have the financial means to get what you believe they have a right to get. Do you understand? That's what it's about. That's what that's what implementing that's that's what the actions over the words means when you sit there and you preach what you preach on a daily basis and make millions this from it, right? And that's okay to make millions from no, it. No, it's no, okay. No, but, but train. But you, there needs you, to be an implementation train, of you it. You understand I'm not the government, right? Like you, you I just you, explained the uh, proportional or the comparison between what would be right in this situation you create a system and through your own donation you would you would be virtually the okay. tax system that would pay for it in a government. But like that's already okay. I that's already a fault, like a faulty premise. Because if your entire socialist experiment is to donate a bunch of your own money so other people can get health care, that's not socialism. No, it's not a charity, it's a system. If you're relying on one rich individual to donate money so that you can get health care, that's not socialism. Socialism is a system that automatically taxes the wealthiest in society and redistributes that money appropriately and one in which workers have the means to production. You know, like that's very different than like like him trying to prove that the socialist system works by donating a bunch of money so people can get health care. That doesn't do anything. That doesn't prove what he's trying to prove. perform right okay like that's what you're describing it, it, you're what you're taking the long way to describe is is literally first of all charity for the record um insurance <laughs> on the other hand the difference or taxes on the other hand insurance or taxes which are two different ways of funding uh, i just you know some it. form of health care or a payment mechanism for health care revolves around people paying into a system and then getting it back in the form of you know adequate health care right um this is how it works so um my you and I are in agreement, I think, uh, as far as how the government should operate this, right? I, I think you believe in free healthcare, right? I think. I do. Yes. Okay. I, I, healthcare is, so, I believe healthcare is a right, right? So, I yeah, believe absolutely. Our education. <laughs> is, is this like Trainwrecks is like pivoting arc? He's trying to like pivot to be, to getting like a, like a more wholesome audience or something. Like this is, this is not whatever people can grow or whatever but this feels so virtue signaling like i feel like if you asked train like a few months ago if he believed in healthcare for all he would have said no you know <laughs> you know i don't know man i don't know i don't know our education system is completely backwards i believe we should be encouraging students to go to school we should be encouraging students. I believe the new baseline should be college. This idea where we're pushing that college is unnecessary. You can't apply this or that. No one is saying there's not a single person that has ever said that college is unnecessary. Like, I'll point to the chart again. Um, median salary by education level. Here we go. Like, it's just, uh, I wish there was a picture. This isn't the median. This is an average. That I think is ridiculous, but I do think it stems from our backwards financial uh, okay. uh, education. Okay. So right? how that's how can I how can I do what you're describing without building a hospital or building a five hundred one c three? I just explained. Uh, that, it. Wait, I just you, I just explained right. For example, the program I have right. It's easy to compare the two and say, oh, it's a charity. No, no, no. The charity part of it is replacing the the tax system in which the government would pay for that system since we don't have that tax how many was that three i fucking press play for two seconds and it's already like tax system taking a percentage of what you make like you preach should happen for the rich right and putting it into that system right so you what you make a percentage of what you make going into that system would be replicating 
what the government has for taxes, right? We'd be rep we'd be taking it out of our pockets monthly, right? For each respective community across Twitch, across YouTube, across Kick, across wherever. Yeah, you're right? saying you you want to you want to start if I'm not misunderstanding, you want to start like a like a healthcare mm -hmm. structure for Twitch watchers that us Twitch streamers put together. Okay. Yes. Yes, us Twitch streamers we put together a healthcare structure. Okay. Um, is that socialism though? Is is that is that That's not. Is, is, no, it's not. It's okay. just but so it is that, but it is nice. Bullshit. It's, it's it, not it, socialism. It's, it's, it's distributing, it's, that's not, that's not distributing socialism. the wealth. Distributing but it is nice. It is no, nice. It's a good idea. The, it's a charity. Distributing the wealth distributing the wealth of the rich into systems that give healthcare to the poor is exactly the values of socialism, is it not? Yes, you're right, but by your logic then, you know, uh, there's but okay so what the problem is with what he's saying where he's like but it's socialism but it's socialism but it's socialism there's one major one major problem okay are you guys ready to see are you guys ready to see the the major problem here i'll write it down for chat because i today i am not mentally well enough to to see people misinterpret what i'm saying the problem is that in a socialist system this is the key word regardless of if would that be regardless whether rich people want to give money they have to give money okay via taxes whereas White people cheddars or e the train wreck system aptly named rich people give money when they want to Okay, healthcare ooh, stops when they don't want to anymore. In this system, healthcare wouldn't. Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm, oh my god! Sorry, excuse my typing. I don't know what I did to that word. Wouldn't stop just because rich people don't want to give money anymore. Oh my God, my... Okay. <laughs> AKA, it's a charity. It's like what he's just, what Trainwrecks is describing would be good. I'm not against the idea. I don't think that the idea itself is bad. I'm not sure that I trust Trainwrecks to implement it, considering that he hasn't really been the most scrupulous person with regards to his gambling streams or his like withholding like sexual assault details for personal gain. That's definitely interesting. And I don't know if I would trust someone like that in power. However, this system still relies on these big streamers to want to do it. It's not socialism because it means the people in power have to choose whether or not they want to help other people. But charities would be considered socialism, but it's not. No, and, no, no. And, you're, and you're, also, you're, if charities, charities the eradicated the existence of these problems, ch if charities eradicated the existence of these problems, then in the United States of America, it's one of the most charitable uh, countries on the planet, uh, we would literally not have a single person uh, die because they can't get their uh, their diabetes medication, which is why you have to advocate for the government, as I do all the time, not only put pressure on uh, congresspersons, but like literally... He literally wore the glasses just so he could do that, so he can seem smarter. <laughs> this is so sad. Really directly talk to them from time to time as well um, and, and utilize my community to go vote Let a certain this. way. This is... This this is so so I'm so confused by this... If they were forced to, do you really think someone like XQC can be forced to give money? What are you talking about? That's completely off topic. That's not relevant to the conversation. So but I am the, technically it, trying to do that in a in a grander scale. It's unfortunately very difficult to accomplish. So let me um, ask you this. If the because, socialist himself cannot find a way to distribute a percentage of his wealth, who do you expect to do it? The fucking capitalist sitting at the top? It needs no, to they're start never gonna do that. somewhere. No, of it needs to not. start somewhere, right? No, if we can't that's do not it gonna, like just because a bunch of Twitch streamers start pooling together their monies to get like chatters healthcare, 
That's not going to change anything else. It just means that now those people will now get health care. That's it. That's all that that all that's all that that happens. But on this level, what how are you expecting a country of 335 million to implement it on that scale? We need to uh, find a way to proportionally scale it within our business models, whether it's the charity aspect, replacing okay. or replicating the tax system. Not not the not the terrible capitalist argument of like, you don't understand. America is too big to have good policies. All right. America's just too. There's just too many people for us to be able to do it successfully. You understand, like the action needs. You, you to do be realize countries have change. socialized health care, right? Like the UK has the NHS system. So like literally just pointing to that should be able to have a wake up moment for the, the minds of millions of Americans. Um, but it still hasn't worked. So technically what you're saying is well intentioned. And I love that you're saying this, but. Uh, it demonstrably doesn't work. I point to actively working socialized healthcare structures on a daily basis, and yet I have not been able to individually at least self move the person sniping from afar. Yeah. Needle on getting Americans to, to get on board with Medicare for all. Neither uh, did Bernie Sanders, again, unfortunately. Okay. We'll agree to disagree on that. And next topic. Yeah. It's a, yeah. I mean, yeah. Wait, what? Uh, what I don't know what the disagreement because, there is, though. Because, I gave you an I, example of a of socialized healthcare working in a larger system. Okay. I have and to hear that again. I'm sorry. Wait, yeah. I mean, yeah. Wait, what? Uh, what? I don't know what the disagreement because, there is, though. Because, I gave you an I, example of a of socialized healthcare working in a larger system. Okay. And no, pointing to that, with the facts. and yet that still doesn't get Americans on board in certain instances. But the reality is, even if all Americans were on board. OK, even if every single American like the abortion ban, for example, were on board, 75 percent of Americans thought abortion should be protected. And yet the Supreme Court decided against it. Why? Because that's just how it is when the rich and powerful get together and build billions of dollars worth of, of uh, dark money funded super PACs and, and lobbying groups. They get their way regardless of what the uh, what the the uh, Americans think or feel. And the same goes for health care as well. I don't know how to feel about not a sandwich. Thank you so much for the five months. I don't know how to feel about train wrecks doing the thing that I hate the most that happens in chat. We'll pause the video for now. So chatters that are stuck in ad purgatory don't miss anything. But I don't know how to feel about people who say like agree to disagree. System. When you bring a good argument to someone else and you're like, hey, X, Y, Z is why I feel about is, is how I feel about this. And that's why I think it is wrong. And then they just say, mm, agree to disagree. It's like, what, what do you mean agree to disagree? No, just just disprove my point and I'll change my mind. <laughs> you know, you can't just do that when you feel like you're losing or whatever. Listen, listen, I'm an example of someone who is living his values. As an anarcho-capitalist, I'm an example of someone who is living his values. I don't pay taxes and instead put the money into a 501c3 charity which builds casinos for underprivileged children. Also, these glasses are prescription. System. I forgot we have a train wrecks AI voice. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot we have a TTS that's just train Rex's voice. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Back to the video. Which is a multi billion dollar industry with a lot of people making money that you and I would, you know, we would look at it and go, holy shit, that is a lot more money than we make. That is the unfortunate reality here. That's what we're going up against. So pointing to an example of like a charity individually working within my community or within Twitch, okay? That's a very nice thing to do. It's a and, system. And we, can, and we can talk more about it. The charity part is to be yeah, yeah, try, It's not disingenuous. There's nothing wrong says, with though, charity. What he says though is that I, 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 he says that inherently that's not the the socialism that he's supposed to uphold like you think he is when he his so what socialism, socialism is, you is know, 
So the socialism is okay, labor, finish. labor. He his socialism that he pushes. Or so the socialism that labor. requires him to give no no percentage of his money and only requires him to preach is the socialism. Well, I he's do pay. For. Don't I, find I that do convenient. pay a decent amount of taxes in California, but that's not uh, that. But I don't consider that to be social. We legally like have Keynesian to. economics. Is, 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 that's that's wealth distribution, and I think that's adequate, and I think that's apt. I wish that you know billions of it wasn't used on fucking finding new and creative ways to like blow uh brown children and fucking school buses in yemen but unfortunately that is what our uh, american government has decided to spend it on that is an unfortunate byproduct of living here but even the 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 meager amount of that that goes back into funding the roads funding the school system uh, uh i'm i'm happy he, with he's and I'm, not listening at all there's like not there's not a single brain cell listening right now even a little bit. Also, fucking XQC is moderating. Okay, I think, I think, X, I think, Trinrex, I think Hassan is saying that's not his socialism. It's like, what? I don't know. <laughs> no, what do you, what do you mean by that, dude? <laughs> it's not that it's not his type of socialism. It's that, that's, uh, that. But as in, did you ever consider the age old system adage? Not every pee pee time is a poo poo time, but. But every poo-poo time is a PP time. Agree to disagree, but my charity could work to change the system so every PP time is also poo-poo time. System heckle. <laughs> I'm actually really surprised how good how good the, the TTS is comfortable with and I, I and i talk about it during tax season all the fucking time but if you think that like charity is socialism then you know, I there is a i didn't say charity is socialism i was referring to a system that we create as a streamer and the charity aspect right which reprise that system would be the way we replicate the tax system right within america the government has a tax system which they would funnel their money into programs for the people who can't afford it, it would, right it would give people access to health care it would cover certain educational costs to push education through what i'm saying is we create a system and since we do not have a tax you system you're just we swapping the word charity for <laughs> wake up grab a brush and put on a little makeup angles deserve to be uh Neki, thank you for the five gift subs. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. That's crazy. He this is like this whole I feel like you could clip this whole debate into this one segment here where Trainwreck says systems like six times and then Hassan just says, You keep replacing the word charity with systems for some reason. <laughs> also, apparently a new Asanox tweet just dropped. reddit and onto uh if my number one which is like my head mod or head editor was spewing dog shit and derailing shit and just spewing absolute dog shit out of his mouth right and attacking other streamers and derailing their programs i would be like yo bro like the fuck are you doing that charity should be separate that charity is a system that you would think you and even people that do not like me would support it's not my charity it's a system created I, I, to wait, 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 wait. hold on hold on i'm lost i'm lost so when i announced the you, mental you health originally you originally were talking about like austin ox doing the gamble 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 uh video right like that we're talk yeah we're talking on the derailment of funny. The we talk, we're talking about the derailment of the mental health care program right all the, the slander the dis the pumping of disinformation uh, onto Twitter and onto Reddit and onto, uh, you know, or within your community on Twitch. You're Some upset that Austin Ox said that uh, you set up your charity to to whitewash uh, your reputation after people were criticizing you for gambling. Is that correct? Is that what you're saying? System, by the way, like that's what you're doing, which is fine. Again, I have I'm no issues with charity. I'm showing you the difference, right? It's about creating the system, right? And the charity would be the pool of money used. I'm to, home from uh, bone uh, surgery. Uh, and I'm so happy, only to see Ed and PP assault. Give me more narcotics. I want to go back. <laughs> How do 
if I instantly press play and it's already another system? And that's the system that gives <laughs> healthcare one. to your community to show that it works. What you preach works. You can take from the rich and provide for the poor, provide for the people who don't have the, the financial real charities stability at the top of the hour. Security or the luxury where there's a three minute ad in break. America, which is so and if you no longer want to see those ads, you can get gifted a sub. Healthcare, right? Oh my God. I, ha I have to admit something to everyone in chat, okay? I have a little bit of a pet peeve when people speak about what chat should or shouldn't watch. To have basic educational costs covered to push that. We need that kind of stuff, right? So I believe we need to act instead of just preach. Otherwise, where does it start? Where does the yeah, chain yeah. reaction start? Yeah, right, well, right. This is the misunderstanding. I think, I think she kind of agrees with you. Right, but at the same time, when you say to uphold socialism, in his view, he does because socialism is the means of production, and 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 the workers and the labor. Right, that is his socialism. So he, you know, he agrees with you. He still doesn't agree with the fact that you think that this is socialism when he he said what his socialism is. Right, so that's what this guy is. So I do I do agree that there's a double well, effect. There's well, a lot because of what he's talking about happening. is just charity, which is great. I I love that as a concept, and I'm on board with it. It's just not, it's demonstrably failed to improve. I, that doesn't stop me from giving money to chari charities, all right? Obviously. Uh, that doesn't stop me from funding money uh, or, or doing fundraising for charities and also directly donating. But if what he was talking about as far as charities... I feel when you don't have an argument, so you just rub your brow. Actually solve the issues. Listen, it, the United States of America would have no health care issues. To help you understand this, okay? Take a look at my mental health care program. Okay, because you keep saying charity. It's literally this whole this whole stream is just him trying to get him to like put money into the mental health charity. That's it. That's what the whole stream is. The whole stream is him just being like, "But you should give me money because if you don't, you're a fake socialist." And that's it. That's literally the only thing. My man's yeah, like, dude, stop. I love selling people drugs and rehab. My man is literally selling people the gambling and then he's giving people the health care after they've gambled all their money. <laughs> okay. So, yes, the money goes into the charity to hold, right? What I'm referring to is the system that's created, right? The viewer can now, oh, that system. does not have access to health care, can now have a way through me taking a percentage of my wealth and putting it as a funding source to free healthcare. This is this, ignore the charity part of it. It's the system. This is what I mean by actions over words. Yes, you're so right. What I'm if, if, is, if everyone was paying into, but in the form of taxes, if everyone was paying into the government and the government was like, we're going to take some of this money and we're going to build hospitals, we're going to build rural hospitals, which is a major problem as well in America. And we're going to make sure that everyone can get healthcare uh, free, for free, when they go but into a hospital. That would be that would be socialized medicine. It would not be socialism. It would be a form of socialization. So, right. So couldn't you implement what you preach into a system like that for your community to have access to things that they don't have access to because of their financial means, right? Because of, of their financial situations. That, that's what I'm asking. It's easy um, to preach. I but think if you I can think, take I think that is is doable, certainly. Um, and uh, that is it's not impossible. The problem in that situation would be that it would require me dropping everything I normally do and basically f learn an entirely new set of skills, it would not be a system. It would, again, just be a charity that a 501c3 that I would have to set up. And I, unfortunately, am a dumbass who doesn't know anything about setting up a 501c3, which is why I usually, just like you did, uh, work with other 501c3s that are pre-existing in this regard. But again, I have, uh, uh, I have raised and also funded... Uh, more than uh, half a million dollars last year, which is a marginal amount in comparison again. to how charitable you are. You're a very charitable person. Um, and this year so far, almost like two million, if I'm not mistaken, to various different causes. I don't think that that is socialism. I just want to make that clear. I don't think that that's socialism. I do it because I think it's the right thing to do. I'm a very fortunate person. And I think the capacity to be able to give back is a good thing. That's why I do it. Um, but even by that metric of like, if you think that building these sorts of systems is socialism, then I guess I'm a, a, a relatively socialist person. I, th I think it's a, a system right. POZ. Thank you. I'm going to set up my own system chat. Okay. I'm going to set up my own system and it's going to be a system. Okay. 
The joke is that they're all terrible, terrible people, and that is terrible advice to use. All right. Demonstrating 20 months of membership within the denim system <laughs> DNM dankies. Oh, Lord. All right. The joke is also that Dennis is like a sociopath. Yes. Yes. All right. For each individual. Chat, I've totally forgot. I want to share a story with you guys. I hung out with a friend of mine, and it was the first time I'd ever hung out IRL with her. And we were talking about stuff, and then she was like, wait. I, I told her, like, oh, yeah, I'm from New York. And she's like, you're from New York? But you're so nice. And I just started fucking dying, dude. I just fucking started dying. I, that was the last. I've never heard someone say that to me ever before. <laughs> It was so fucking funny. But you're so nice. <laughs> All right, let's go. She hasn't seen me in the league. Individual, right? It's a value within themselves, right? So if you're making X and X, X, and X amount of dollars, I believe be, because of the fortunate situation both, of, both you and I are in, I do believe in higher taxes for us. I do believe right, in both of us taking a percentage of our wealth and putting it into systems right? That can distribute it to people and give them the baseline, what I believe to be a right, which is med right, uh, uh, healthcare, education systems that pay for their schooling based on, let's say, a current oh, so, hardworking students or whatever the hell that is, I'm GPA, slacking. whatever you want to measure that by, right? That's what I believe. So what I'm saying is I do think, ignore the charity aspect. I'm referring to the systems. The charity is just the funding the tool in this comparison, right? I believe we should not just talk it. We should act on it. Right. So we should take a percentage of our wealth, whether it's 20 percent, 30 percent, 10 percent, whatever it may be, and put it towards systems that give what we believe to be a right to the people that don't have access to these things that I believe should be a right. Right. I think so the system you're describing is is a 501c3, though. Right. Like that's well, in yeah. this situation, the 501c3 would be provided Hasn't and all you would have to do. Leftist, right. I so let's believe let's, how consistently disingenuous his whole system is. No, wait, that was a Hassan system. Guys, Hassan systems don't count. This is just a ex this is just a train system. This is just to count how many times train says it. Dude, we've only watched 20 minutes, 30 minutes, excuse me, and he said it 45 times. Let's hypothetically say for this mental system. health care program, right? Wouldn't you say if you don't want to create that, that this is an this is this is it's right there, right? It's a system you believe in for your community, right? So yeah. yeah. So you know, why again? Was, you're, you're, Hassan doesn't agree with. Uh, I'm just. I'm, I'm, I'm just agreeing. Okay, Hassan doesn't doesn't. Even though he thinks these things are good and he wants to be, he wants to do those things, and sometimes he hasn't, or maybe he will in the future. He still doesn't view that as a fundamental socialism. Wait, first of all, I, wait. XQC is actually translating perfectly. Wait, he's actually trans translating perfectly. He actually said it. He was like, okay, Hassan views these things as positive and maybe he has done them in the past. Maybe he hasn't done them in the past. Maybe he will want to do them in the future. But he, Hassan just doesn't think that these are things that are socialist in nature. He actually translated it well. Do no. those things. Let's be. Let's make it clear. I, I think I do a de decent job uh, at doing those things. Yeah, but I, I still think that he doesn't view that as as the the, the fundamentals of socialism, and that's not what he preaches. Yes. Therefore, he's not. He doesn't feel like you've gotten him on the yo, dude. You haven't donated Jenny. this much. Well, well, Assam doesn't feel like like, yeah. like 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 you got him on not doing what he preaches. When this is not what he preaches in, in that regard to socialism, that's, that's what he feels like. So you're picking and choosing what aspects of socialism uh, oh apply based God, on- Oh my God, what a chimpanzee. Dude, Train is like an actual unironic Neanderthal, straight up. I, I know he's, he's heard that insult like a million times, but it's literally just true. What you have to act on, what you don't? I'm confused. I mean, ask so, 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 so we're cherry So we're cherry picking what parts of socialism we wanna preach, and, and those are depending on what, which ones actually require you to. Yeah. <laughs> this, is so, this is the most fucked up thing you can say to someone. He was thawed, not born. <laughs> you, can't, you can't say that. Oh, my God. You can't say that distribute a percentage of your wealth into systems that distribute it to uh, uh, 
the people that are less for it just it, it's it seems like we're cherry picking what we have to act on and what we don't it just seems very convenient to me i i think i i think that the the fundamental disagreement here is that um you know charitable donations is socialism is like kind of your perspective here uh i don't want to put words in your mouth you can correct me but that's all i've heard from you as far as like maybe you don't say charitable donations you say systems but that's kind of what you're talking about and that is fundamentally no, no, no. not so, true which so is fine it's still fine though you're right i think it's it's a good thing to Again. Yeah, I don't disagree. In debates like this, you should start off with making people like Train define socialism. The problem is that like Train wouldn't even be able to define it. He would just start fucking rambling more more realistically. He would just start rambling and going off and rambling some more. And then he wouldn't actually ever give you a good definition. Because I think I think I wouldn't be surprised if Train actually knows that he's using the wrong definition of socialism and he's specifically saying socialism because he's trying to get like Hassan in a gotcha like what so if I was trying to debate Hassan and I was trying to did you guys ever go to um do you guys ever take any like debate classes or did you guys ever have like debate in class or school or anything like that I had a my AP US history class we had to do some debates do you guys ever have to debate like a position you don't believe in anyone here knows what i'm talking about yeah so if i so that's what i'm saying i'm doing if i was going to debate hassan's position right i obviously agree with him but if i was going to debate against him in this hypothetical debate i think much more reasonable or like much a much better argument would be okay so you don't believe that this is enacting socialism is that correct yes that's correct what actions are you currently taking right now hassan that would help enable or enact socialism? And the answer to that is always going to be nothing because there isn't anything you can do. Besides like educating like people about socialism and about how capitalism is terrible for you, there isn't really anything that you can do. What, you're gonna just start a revolution overnight? You're just gonna like magically elect all the people overnight? Okay, once you're at that position, I think once once you're there, you can say, okay, so you agree that we can't enact socialism. We're, none of us individually can enact it. Yeah, okay, but you agree that people need this thing, right? Yeah. Shouldn't you be someone that triumphs these things, that like pushes for beneficial things, even if they're not socialist in nature? I feel like that's much better of, of a gotcha because then you're pushing someone into the position of like, why are you refusing to help people right instead of trying to argue about whether or not hassan is a real socialist or a fake socialist or not that's i think that's all really stupid i feel like if i was in trainer x's position i'm going in with the goal of trying to get this guy to give me his money for my charity i feel like i would just tell him i would just push him in a corner where i'm like okay but like how else can you why don't you take some direct action to help people besides you know um doing this or doing that or doing whatever you know what i mean uphold charity and try to do your very best to yeah. help others who are less fortunate but if you're asking me as someone who like at least describes the concept of what socialism is that okay. is not true what you're describing is just I, fundamentally listen, just a 501c3 I, I i feel like there's a disconnect for you and probably with others as well in what i'm referring to okay and and the, on, the only it, reason okay let's take my mental health care program as an example of this since it's the only thing i can uh, uh show you in this yeah, regard right. that's 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 on twitch that, that can help you understand this okay so ignore the charity aspect of what's going on there okay that's there the reason i had to work with them is because obviously as a streamer right we, we don't pay some sort of streamer tax within twitch where we can funnel that money and put it towards systems we believe in right <laughs> I, I can't believe he's going to keep trying to do this. Wait, how many systems did I miss? I think I just missed one. So ignore the charity aspect. C instead, compare it in this system, right? When I say system, I'm, I'm referring to the system where I take a percentage of my wealth monthly, put it into, let's say, a, a, a pot. And from there, access is given to viewers in my community that do not have access to mental health care, right? He, that's, that, that charity is only replicating what the U.S. government, it, 
It's proportionally replicating, right? Yes, what the U.S. government has for a tax system. What you're describing, you yes, exactly. The main difference so, is voluntary donations versus taxes, right? And no, you're right. That's the, that's like the, the, the exact moment it becomes voluntary. Oh, are we at 51? It only counts if Hassan, if, if, if train wreck says it. I think it's 51. Sorry. I was too busy thinking about what they were saying. Um... I don't know how many times he has to drill this into his brain. It's it's voluntary. The second the streamers decide they don't want to donate anymore, what do you what do you do then? It's not a socialist system. The only way that we right Wait, I understand what he's saying. He's saying he's trying to describe Train is trying to describe something that he's too dumb to describe. Is have you guys seen people explain how um Lord and like serfdom, Jesus, Lord serf is um, analogous to modern day bosses and workers. That the hierarchy system is analogous to the hierarchy system where we have like bosses here. Or like, sorry, here we have like the one percenters. I think more accurate chart is like you have one percenters and then you have like upper middle class or whatever. And then you have like here or, or rather you would have like bosses that serve the one percent and then you would have like middle management and then you would have like the working class here, right? So the goal is always just to funnel as much money upward as you can. As much money as you can from the, the people below you, you try and extract that money. And it's the same thing with like this, where like a king is on top, and then he has like what is lords or whatever, and then maybe like dukes or something, like whatever's below a lord. And then at the very bottom, you have serfs. And the goal is always just to bring as much money or like wealth as possible, as high up as possible. At each individual level, um, these people are personally motivated to get more money, to steal more money from the people below them. So what, what Trainrex is trying to say is, in the same way that like lord and serf relationships have mildly adjusted into boss and worker relationships he's trying to say that like he would be creating a system where the top one percenters these are the top one percenters of twitch or kick or streaming platforms in general would be giving out money that would eventually go out to other like viewers and chatters and stuff for mental health and that is analogous with this is the government giving out money and whatever insurance to its people so like that's what he's trying to explain he's trying to explain that like how exactly how this relationship is just like the same he's trying to say that this relationship is also the same what he's not recognizing though is that it's not the same because the second the government chooses it doesn't want to anymore it can't do anything about it because it's a it's, a, it's like an actual like government um whereas like any one of these people who's donating money can decide mm, actually people leave i don't want to donate money anymore it's just not it doesn't work the same but i understand what he's trying to explain it's just not correct Fortunately, well, you, you as have streamers, to understand you're describing the... a charity when you when you keep explaining it though like that's the yes the, it's the a charity, charity that you I'm work with, to... Rad, right? You work with Rad. Yes. Is a, a pre-established 501c3. It's a charity. So you are giving money to Rad, which is a wonderful thing. Okay? It's great. When no, no it's, a it's, it's a separate program, right? Okay, it's a, it's a separate program. Sure. It's a separate program within Rad. I'm using Rad to replicate what it would be mm -hmm. in America using their tax systems to pay for mental health care. Do you understand? You're, you're not. You're not wrong. That you're is actually a, a very to, decent way. That is a very decent way to describe. That is a very decent way to try to describe socialized healthcare and why it's ethical and why it's the right thing to do. I agree with you. If that is what you're saying, as far as like socialized healthcare, it's still not socialism. Oops, sorry, I missed one. So if you're asking me what socialism is or if it conflicts with my values that I haven't like set up a 501c3 personally it's not about setting up it, it, it's about taking a percentage of your wealth like you preach the rich should do and doing it yourself and implementing it right uh -huh. so if you, you understand so do you do that do you take a percentage 10 20 30 percent of your wealth and put it towards systems that give free health care to the people or are you just relying on the tax systems of america as your distributive no, wealth process? I, I i do i no, I, I definitely do uh donate a lot more than uh, just what the taxes are absolutely I do. Uh, I don't know what percentage of my overall wealth that is, but yes, uh, I absolutely do. Regardless, though, I don't think that that is socialism. I do it not because it's socialism. I don't do it because I want to make like... I think uh, you're misunderstanding my point, right? The look, my point is this. Billionaires have something called the Billionaire's Pledge. I don't know if you've ever heard about this. It's actually a very interesting concept, okay? Okay. Yeah. So... um. Like the, <laughs> Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, numerous other billionaires, some of the wealthiest people on the planet have joined what they call 
uh, I believe, the giving pledge, which is, uh, it, it's a, hold on, I'm going to pull it up real quick so I, I don't give you any false information here. Why don't, why, don't, why don't we start the millionaire's pledge and we apply it on Twitch? And yeah, no, 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 hold on, hold on. Well, I'm going to talk oh. about how fraudulent it is in a second. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's, 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 yeah. Uh, the Giving Pledge is a commitment to philanthropy. The Giving Pledge is a promise by the world's wealthiest individuals and families <laughs> to dedicate the majority of their wealth to charitable causes. Now, the issue well, is you, that uh, this is just simply a PR move for them. They do this because they set up their own charitable donations, their charitable contributions, and they put all of their stock options. Also, we watched like a whole video on this as well. Um, they A lot of these millionaires and billionaires, they donate money into... Um, specific types of sorry sorry they donate monies to charities that they created that don't actually funnel all the money that they poured into it immediately so they will make their own foundations and then they'll give a yearly contribution of like five million dollars but they're not actually donating that five million dollars immediately they're only pouring out maybe like 50 the bare minimum like the fifty thousand dollars a year that they feel like donating. So all of it is just still sitting in that foundation. And that foundation can restructure at any time. So it helps them reduce their tax um, uh, payments that they have to make. So let's say you make like $10 million. And then the government's like, okay, you have to pay us half of that. They're like, okay, well, what if I donate like a quarter of it to charity? I guess I don't have to pay taxes on that, right? Right? So it lowers their tax contribution without actually lowering their wealth. No, I didn't, Marianne. I kind of wanted to. Actual scammers? Yeah. Because you don't have to pay money. Or sorry, you don't have to pay taxes if you donate it to charity. Because that would be really stupid. That's a really dumb system that if you donate money, then you still have to pay taxes on the money you just donated. But yeah. Into that charity. I also don't, no offense, I don't trust um, train wrecks to plan the logistics for something this big. Like genuinely, no offense. I don't. I, I don't even mean that in a rude way. He's a good content creator. He's capable of keeping people's attentions by being an absolute maniac on stream. He's good at what he does. Um, however, I don't think that he would be good at giving people mental health care and even creating a system that can give people mental health care. Like the amount of planning that you would have to put in for something like that is just. I just don't. I just don't believe that he can do it. And that's not like a personal slight against him. That's me saying just how difficult it is. Because it's very difficult. In an effort to avoid taxes, right? That is the main reason why they do this. That way they can look like they're giving back while, you know, buying from or, or buying whatever the fuck from they, so uh, what they want from the pool of funds. But cheer up, Chad. This gets worse later. XQC gets problematic later. Pepe la. Thank you, Cat Kip. Utilizing it as a tax cut, it turns into a non-taxable entity. And he, he thinks that this is what praxis is, like socialism in action. I fundamentally disagree. And yet I still actually do engage in the, the, the thing that he's talking about. Me too. I just don't tell anybody about it because it's, it's useless. Yeah, exactly. And, and I didn't used to tell people about it either, but... Obviously, a lot of people kept saying, much like Train, Hassan, you're fake. You don't practice what you preach. Uh, you don't give back to people, which is a false understanding of socialism in general. So I did start telling people about it. And now they say I do it for clout, which, of course, I always knew it was going to be a damned if you do, damned if you don't scenario. Uh, so so I just do whatever the fuck then? I think is the right thing to do. And uh, I keep my fucking head down and do it. Right. So even in your chat, things? your entire chat is capping right now. Your entire chat. Like there will uh, never be chair. Look at him. Look, he fucking laughed because he knows, dude. He laughed because he knows. He knows. He knows, dude. He like literally can see his own chat, dude. Cap. Cap. Charitability to anything. And I don't even expect it. Like it's just. <sighs> No, no, that's not kept to me because if you guys, I said I, I do, I do uh, charitable stuff and whatever, because because uh, in terms of education, because I own my own shit, but I don't, I, 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 I think it's freaking lame.
Whether the, whether they, they they think that I do or not, or they accept it, uh, uh, and they're, they're, they validate the amount or not, I think it's just a, it's useful to talk about it. I just do it because it helps, and I'm sure down the line, somebody that was helped by one of these things when they met and, when, and they're, when they're balling out and they're millionaire, they will do the same thing, and there's done no effect. I truly believe that giving back into systems like healthcare, like education, when somebody is 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 a recipient of these things when they ball out there's a good chance they'll do the same because this resonates hard with them it creates a domino effect and the more people do the more it resonates and the more it grows that's just how it is that's my perspective that's my my view on it but i don't think that's still nothing that socialism though it's not i i don't i don't think you're uh, uh you would say you're a socialist or you <laughs> this is truly the meeting of the minds dude this is some incredible stuff that we're watching right here this is groundbreaking historical watch Hassan try to dumb himself down to be understood by t these two which is very hard to watch oh man oh man Dr. Dean Bo I need an appointment covered under chatter care <laughs> you would be a socialist for doing that I don't think Train is a socialist for doing uh, the, the charitable donations the rad the system itself would be a socialist one. Do you understand? The system. Oh my the idea God. of it. Not this again. Dude, please just get new material. Get new material. I don't think you trust them myself. Not the righteous actual donation. I cry when angels deserve to die. Myself, righteous suicide. I cry when angels deserve to die. Father. <laughs> well, I, I, also, I also personally gave you an system. example. I, I, I gave you a... I gave you an example of like a commodity production or, or creating something new and, and different that uh, in the form of like the podcast, that is a cooperative uh, style uh, uh, governance, oh, I guess. Oh, 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 would, you, would you agree? Everything you've mentioned that you do that you believe is aligned with your ideas of socialism, you profit from. Don't you think that's, that's yes. just a little distant? Yeah. There is not a notion of like, th this is, so anytime someone says this, it becomes very obvious that they think that socialism is like a poverty cult when really socialism is just like, you can enjoy things. You can have things. You can have personal belongings. You can have personal goods. It's just that you don't get to exploit the fuck out of your workers. That's it. That's it. That's the only difference. You just get money for your labor. If you spend like an hour making a $200 part, you deserve the full 200 that that part like generates in profit. Because you did all the work for it. That's it. <laughs> it doesn't mean that if you're a socialist, it means that you have to like stop making money all together like what <laughs> train wrecks cramming the night before a debate assassin's creed syndicate all Karl marx needs <laughs> oh lord oh man yes no that's literally okay see this is perfect thank you for saying this this is literally the fundamental misunderstanding. Socialism is not about doing things because you're a nice guy. Socialism is just about who is producing the shit and how no, much you're, more you're, freedom they get. There is a difference in profiting more from the Wait. preaching or the ideas of the socialism, right? Wait. It's not like you're making a business, right? And then, and then you're getting no, a No, it is a business. What I described to you is a business. What I described to you is a cooperative so formation of a corporation. So do you think a percentage of everything that you do in the name of socialism should go towards systems. Train, you're, and you're not understanding. Train, you're I, not I, understanding I, what I'm saying. Train, okay, continue. Go you ahead. literally, okay. <laughs> there are many different ways of democratizing a workplace or democratizing an okay. economic organization of society. One okay. of those, okay, is a cooperative corporation, okay? That is precisely okay. why uh, my producer, uh, who is is you know producing the labor? Who's creating uh, part of the podcast? You know who sets yes. up the the Patreon and whatnot, and and sets up the cameras. For example, that person is getting one third of the overall revenue. Okay, that yeah. is 
inherently a socialist formation. He also has autonomy. He also gets to say, I want to do it on this day. I want to do it on that day. Okay, I want to do the podcast on this day. These are things that we democratically decide. Now, okay. this is a cooperative corporation. That is actually closer to like what is literally socialism, at least in a corporation, a socialist organization of the economy within the corporation than anything else that you have described. That would be one form or one aspect of democratization of the workplace. Okay, that is actually what you want out of me. I'm already doing that. But if you're talking about like, uh, setting up a system or you know, okay, so how does that work? Call a charity. How does that work with Twitch then? So you, you bring up the podcast. How does that work with Twitch, right? Let's say hypothetically you're making it's six great. to ten million dollars from from an ad heavy deal, right? Which mm -hmm. if you show that deal, which you can't because you're binded by a, by a contract. Think, do you think I uh, should pay my viewers for watching me? On Not Twitch? pay your. I'm referring to you. You bring the podcast up as one third. Are you paying, right, a percentage or something proportional to the? millions that you're making off twitch right is that a is that something you're doing as a socialist right does that carry over to your twitch so sure i believe you for to your who? podcast to who to what to like, editors the, to moderators yes so you're paying moderators or a head of moderation no at not editors and not moderators i do have a compensation mechanism for my moderators okay. it is not one that i often publicize specifically because i don't want moderators to come on on board exclusively because they want to, you know, use this as a job opportunity. There is a compensation mechanism if, you know, but uh, I, I don't like talking about it specifically because, like I said, I want moderators to be a part of the community and not necessarily uh, working and not necessarily doing it as labor, which is most of the reason why I try to, as best as I can, maintain all of the other avenues of moderation on my own, whether it be running ads uh, which, by the way, I should be running at least a uh, middle of the hour ad break and you things know, yeah, of yeah, that no, nature. No, no, wait, let's stop. Let's stop. Everyone, both of you are on your ad, as far ad as, deals. As far we'll as, your hold, on, hold on, hold on. As far as that? editors goes, yes, of course. I pay editors directly. I pay editors for? directly out of, wait, I, I don't know what he's, uh, I don't know why he's saying I was that. saying play your minute ad and I'll juice up. No, I, no, no. I, I anyway, anyway, anyway. Listen, up. listen. What do you mean you have to do? You just juiced. Listen, listen, listen. As far as payment structures goes for mm -hmm. my editors, they are the ones who make their pay. In many instances, they're making more. They're the ones who, they are the ones who I routinely have a conversation with where they're the ones who dictate what their pay is. I'm routinely paying them more than the, even more than the value that they're actually generating for uh, the, the videos that are creating. And the only way I can subsidize that is because I'm making money off of Twitch. So in a way, yes, I am utilizing Twitch revenue to pay some of my editors. But not your moderators to the same percentage as let's say the podcast to your Twitch, right? So, so your yes. main income channel is the biggest one, right? And that's yes. the one that's exempt from the, yes. from, from the proportion. Because but uh, not only that, but the reason why, the reason why the wor this works the way that it does is because there are certain aspects that I want to maintain as far as um, as far as autonomy goes, as far as the freedom, as far as like uh okay, I'm gonna make the argument for Hassan. Um, first of all, ads are gonna be up in a minute, and we will pause the video. I'm gonna read subs while ads play, so you guys don't miss anything. But before that point, I wanted to say this one thing. I will try my best to make the argument as well as I can, okay? The reason that most people, if not all people, don't pay editors, or sorry, not editors, mods, is because of a few reasons. There is a very different relationship that you have with moderators or anyone once you hire them. I'm sure many people can relate or understand what I'm talking about. There's a huge difference between when you ask someone to help you with something or someone chooses and they have a desire to help you with something versus once you have to start paying them. Once you pay them, there is a fucking, it, the environment just changes completely. And then it's like, well, what is the right amount of money that you should be paying monitors? What are, how much is their value worth? Which by the way, is very difficult to quantify when you're doing an entertainment job, right? Um, I, I, I think it's weird because if you talk to like 99% of most mods, 
they don't care about getting paid. I mean, I I used to draw emotes for free for streamers that I really liked. Like I did it because I wanted to do it. I didn't do it for any other reason. I didn't care about getting paid. And I think if I got paid, I would feel very differently about what I was doing. Then I would feel like a, like a pressure, I guess, that I'm if I'm doing the right yeah, thing or I'm not doing the right thing. And honestly, the entirety of like the mo mods in general, it's the situation is so stressful. I mean, this is probably terrible to say on stream, but like we don't have any mods in this Twitch channel. I mean, I'm here and I see everything. So if you post something sus, I will ban you. But we don't have any mods because of this. Because I just like, it's just, uh, I have too much stress even having mods. Um, Let alone paying them and then having them be workers of mine. Hot shit. Okay? That is an unreasonable demand to make from people. I, I don't make that demand from my viewers, and that is precisely the reason why I want my viewers to be invested and interested in, Hi, uh, in, in doing whatever the fuck they want to. The funny thing is yeah. I know I train is so fucking horny bringing up the mods. Oh, it's probably... Okay. Wait, why is okay. it? Um... Damn, it seems like this so topic. One thing, added, wait, one thing that you wait, need why to. Is it? is it what, what I pay my mods? Is that why? Well, that I don't know. Said? But one thing that you need to oh, also, okay. one thing that you need to also understand. Oh my God, he just wants to like. It's really sad and pathetic. It's like watching a bully try to like prove that they're a good person. Is that? And this is a really good conversation. I brought up a cooperative ownership of the podcast specifically because it's one very unique formation of workplace democracy because someone in that situation is generating value, right? Someone in that situation is generating value. They're working, they're laboring, right? And instead of a wage compensation in that structure, I'm giving them a percentage of revenue. Now, originally when the podcast wasn't generating any revenue, I was just paying out of pocket to be like, listen, uh, whatever you want, you know? Uh, eventually we will be able to generate uh, revenue, which we are now. And at that point, you'll be able to get a third of that, right? This is, there are certain aspects of it that I want to maintain and make sure that is, is as ethical as possible, right? In that structure. That is the reason why, uh, the reason why I brought up the third uh, in the cooperative formation, a third of the revenue in the cooperative formation is because that is only one element of a pay structure. There are many different ways of doing it, but the one fundamental thing that remains is worker autonomy and people that are generating value, getting back what they, uh, what they make, getting back what they add. That is inherently a socialist way of working. They're getting back what they add and who determines uh, what they get paid based on what they add. Well, in that circumstance, I, I... Well, in in most instances, entertainment is a very weird field and entertainment shouldn't be judged. 99% of jobs, you can directly see how much value is being generated by some work. Um, pretty consistently. Like, so for example, goods, goods, you generate how much uh, money someone is creating based on the good they are creating. If you are making shoes, you deserve to be paid based on how much money the shoe makes, right? And then there are service jobs. You make money, you should make money based on, with that service job, based on how much money you, you make for the company that you are a, a part owner in, right? So if you run the store and you run all of these things and you do all of these things, then yeah, you should be paid, compensated some amount that is fair. And then the way that you would determine that would be like, you would just determine it democratically, right? So like you could just do something like this, like, hold up, let me, this is a very simple, very, very simplistic example. Okay, chat, just to be very clear. The soap is kind of going crazy. I'm not going to lie. I didn't think I would like the soap cutting, but it actually kind of goes crazy. Like, let's say you work at a Starbucks, right? Well, not a Starbucks, some coffee shop similar to Starbucks. You work at Starbucks. Okay. What does Starbucks need? It needs, okay, what does it need? It probably needs a few baristas to make coffee and drinks. Okay, let's say it needs two or three of those. Okay say three starbucks are pretty busy i don't know okay you have three baristas and then maybe you have like from my understanding the workers at starbucks they do it all but just for the purpose of this example let's say you have one person oh this person is enormous uh taking care of like all things cleaning related okay and then maybe you have one more person in charge of like basically what would be considered a manager role so just in charge of like resupplying etc cetera, etc cetera. you would all democratically vote on what you think 
you should earn and you would push for that based on how much you how much value you feel like you bring in. And that's it. That's that's very it's very simple. It's very, very simple. And this is something that often confuses people. Then they're like, wait a minute, how can a company make a profit and still be socialism? So let's say all these people determine, okay, well, I should be paid. Let's just random number, random number, okay? Let's say all these people decide I should be paid $25 an hour because I bring in that much money an hour, right? Okay, let's say we move on, right? Let's say we get to the end of the year. Uh, profit of $50,000 that went nowhere. This is money that was excess, okay? Just, just hold it for, for two seconds, chat. Hold it for two seconds. Because you're never going to be able, there are jobs that you are never going to be able to predict uh, perfectly. So now all these people are sitting here and they're like, wait, we generated all this excess profit that went nowhere. What do we do with this? Well, they can democratically vote on where to spend the money. Okay, well, do we want to spend this money hiring another person so that our shifts are less bad? Do we want to spend this money uh, giving ourselves all bonuses because we feel like we, we deserve that money? Do we feel like we want to put this money towards X, Y, Z? Maybe we want to get some new tables. Maybe we want to get some new mops. Maybe Because then you would just vote on it democratically instead of the current system, which is super fucking convoluted bullshit where it's just one CEO that is beholden to like 10 people who own the company, basically. And then they just make decisions to make more money for those people. And that's it. You know? I, uh, there is no perfectly scientific way i mean we're getting into the labor theory of value obviously but uh there's no in my opinion there's no adequate way of making that assessment which is why i oftentimes I will uh leave it up to people that are uh that are making the demand itself while they're simultaneously generating revenue because there are a lot of situations where there are a lot of situations where uh a venture that you get into is not actually making money right and i think People are still generating some sort of value even when they're not actually making money because even when the when the business itself is not actually making money because the business could potentially make money in the future. Okay? Yeah. Do, you, do you understand? Yeah. Which is why I think it's it's better off uh, uh, left up to the to the people that... I think, I think the, the problem is that... The, By the, the way, I can't believe the level of interrogation that is happening with my own personal finances or the way I live my life is unimaginable but the reason why i do it is because it is something that i'm very confident in okay it is something that i'm very confident in in the way that i live it but it is a ridiculous ask i want people to understand like i don't have an issue talking. <laughs> why is everyone pepe lying oh no <laughs> no what are you guys showing me no talking about this shit, but it is fucking wild like not a single streamer has ever been asked this level of fucking detail in any minor thing that they do. Not even motherfucking train wrecks, okay? And I he think, gets shit on a lot. It, 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 Actually, it, I've it, revealed all that. It's, it's about, but it's really frustrating that, like, this is a fundamental thing I believe in and I advocate for and I practice what I fucking preach and yet motherfuckers still always say that I am actually fake because people cannot comprehend that it could work that way. They, it's not preach. that you're fake. It's that there's... There's certain areas that are hypocritical in nature, right? Like there are certain areas where you pick and choose when socialism applies and when capitalism is okay. No, yet it you doesn't. Preach no, it doesn't. In every direction. Okay, okay. I, but I but, only, you, but you retained a, none of the things that I just told you, Train. Like I, I just spent the past hour where you peered into like literally the the minutia of my operation, looking for like different places, different avenues to strike. I described all of it yeah, to you, and you won't give me the dignity. You won't even give me the dignity of like listening, hearing, and I processing listen. that information. That's kind of I fucked listen. up. No, it just I seems like an ambush to, I, at this point. No, 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 no. I listened and I processed. And is there is areas a where... There's question. Hello, chat. Glad that we're all here. Oh, thank you, Dynamic Tab. Thank you for the two months. This is because inherently you're a political streamer and you talk about <sighs> the aspects of socialism and then that's what you preach. It's, it's, like, it's like saying, yo, dude, why do people ask what stocks a, a, a stock streamer has on the stock market and not the apex no well whoa 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 wait 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 those are completely different things poor xqc my juicer okay first of all a stock streamer still has a right to to not have to share all of their personal finances okay second of all there is a risk that you run when sharing everything in your portfolio. You would feel some level of responsibility if your portfolio started to do poorly and people all invested in your portfolio. And that's not even opening yourself up to potentially getting in risks of giving financial advice. So stock streamers or like any of these type of streamers, usually they explicitly say, I'm not giving financial advice. I'm just reading the news and seeing how the stocks are currently doing and talking about how I feel about it. This is not financial advice. I would be very concerned to share my portfolio as a stock streamer in fear that like, because anyone who has a portfolio knows they will improve sometimes and they will 
be bad other times. And you don't want to be responsible for when someone else comes to you and they're like, I put all my money into what you put your money into. And now all my money is gone. When am I getting it back? It's like, I don't know. That's how the market works, man. Sometimes it go up, sometimes it go down. But you can't, you know what I mean? You just, ah. and, and also this is just not like, I don't know. I don't know, dude. Jim Cramer gets away with it, dude. Jim Cramer is just like a mess waiting to happen. Emo horse girl, thank you for the tier one. Thank you. Well, because the guy that pays Apex never talks about stock. You talk a lot about like finance and and the music production and all all the all the money as of course they're going to inquire. So like this is I think the biggest problem with what people like I guess like Hassan derangement syndrome people have to deal with. I think if Hassan was a charity streamer and his whole shtick was centered around him doing charities, then I would understand why people would call him a hypocrite. But that's not what he is. And that's not what he's ever been or has ever claimed to be. Psst, yay 29 months of Dr. Denbo, DNML. About where your money is and what you're doing with it to better these systems that you're talking about. So that's, it's, I think it's just uh, not Not whole. necessarily true. No, the only reason why they do that is to literally look for hypocrisy, hypocrisy baiting. And it doesn't even matter. No matter how genuine, no matter how consistent you are, it literally doesn't matter. Because ultimately, like in the beginning of this conversation, I had a conversation with Trainwreck about literally something that he believes I did that I told him I didn't do and he couldn't bring up any fucking counters to it. Like he couldn't bring up proof to it. And yet we still left it on a, on a, you know, 50, 50 well, split. Well, for that, I remember like, that's crazy. But the, but the point of that was the pattern of behavior. Right. And, and I have a lot of viewers messaging me. They remember exactly that. Right. But to bring up a, a clip regarding, uh, passive shit talk or the letting of, you know, to kind of push the narratives. Right. I can't provide you with a clip at this time. And even if I couldn't, I remember it happening. Diesel. So that, that's why we moved on and we agreed to disagree. Uh, what else do you guys not agree on? I was just showing a pattern of behavior, but we, hey, th th that's not enough for us to not come to a middle ground and say, fuck it. Like, well, no, I well, think let, let's get back to the Will Neff clip, right? So I think you're asking about the yeah, Will Neff I, clip, I, right? I and asked, we kind of I went asked, off. What did you bring up about the, the, the charity for uh, Turkey? And how how did it come about? Why did you say it? What Just watch the mean? clip. Okay, fair enough. Let's everybody. I'm going to link a clip in your in in, in, in the current chat going on over here, and you're gonna click, uh, and you're gonna watch it on your own with your community, and they will discuss when train picks. Sorry, I realized I was muted because I was drinking some liquid and crushing bottles, because that's what that's what you're supposed to do when you're sick, right, chat? You're just supposed to drink a lot of liquids. I got some Pedialyte. It's like fake Pedialyte. Picks up and not not a song. Okay. So so it's Will never brought up the uh, the Turkey charity, and it's Train who was gonna make an argument about his initial point about how he wants a son to do the systems, but then uh, since Will but like why the are charity, you guys having a conversation about me in general? Like I, I don't that I don't understand. Yo, I'm, I, I didn't give context to people. So the context is that yeah. So uh, a Will brought up the fact that uh, uh, Hassan raised money for charity for Turkey in the context of Ukraine, we have socialism and how we can do things to further socialism in society. And then what happened then is that Trey was going to say that uh, the Turkey thing was crowdfunded, therefore cannot be kind of uh, used as a, yo, guys, um, I'm partaking in these socialism systems or whatever. And let right. me clarify on that, because this is an important yep. clarification to be completely fair. I'm sorry, what? Did someone say someone was chugging Systems milk? Whatever. And let right. me clarify on that. Guys, um, I'm partaking in these socialism systems or whatever. And right. let me clarify on that, because this is an important yep. clarification to be completely fair toward Hassan. Oh, Train was drinking it earlier? Wait, I'm sorry, I have to see this. Wait, and what? then, what happened then, is that Train was going to say that uh, the Turkey thing was crowdfunded, therefore cannot be kind of uh, used as a, yo, guys, um... I'm partaking in these socialism systems or whatever. And let right? me clarify on Milkies. that. Because this is an important clarification. I missed it again. I'm sorry. We have socialism and how we can... <laughs> now this is socialism. He needed his milkies, guys. He needs to grow big and strong. Because he's a growing boy, everybody. Okay, he needs his calcium. <laughs> It's the same color as his blinds. It's almost the same color as him. <laughs> I 
I drink milk every day, sad. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, used as a yo, guys. Um, I'm partaking in the socialism systems, whatever. And let right? me clarify on that, because this is an important yeah. clarification to be completely fair toward Hassan. Yeah. The effect of what he did is the same as both possible intentions, right? So the effect is a net positive no matter how you look at it, right? So the effect of what you did is a net positive. Do you understand? I want to make that... So this is what I was saying earlier, Chad. I was saying that I don't... I think this entire, like, shtick of, like, saying, like, Hassan is a fake socialist, it's just stupid and it's dumb and it's a waste of time. You should just say, hey, this thing that I'm doing is a net positive and I think you should be on board. And if you're not on board, that's fine. But I think being on board speaks to your character and how much you want to help people. And then just and just say that. Just say that. And then when they don't do it, you can be like, well, whatever. Not whatever the fuck this like this like fake socialist thing. Not very clear. I think what's being argued is the way certain things that you do, the intentions. The systems? <laughs> the system? That's being described behind your actions, right? Like... That's what I'm referring to, right? I think a lot of times it's used as a, hey, look, I did this. What a great thing I did. I did this, you know, this is an example of what I preach. This is this. The problem I have with it is that he clearly doesn't care about socialism. He just wants a contest about who donates more. Yep. Literally, yep. Mm -hmm. Which I don't know which, I don't know if, I think, I think, uh, excuse, excuse me. I think Train donates more of his own money. Um, but I'm so, oh man, maybe I'm too biased on this chat. You guys can tell me if you think I'm wrong. I also think that people I train make the platform worse. I think that people, um, like train, like, yeah, they can help people and they can help other streamers and other content creators and stuff like that. But I feel like they, they just make the platform worse. They make the platform more of like a shitstorm of like just like making things okay that are not okay. You know? Like okay, and 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 this is like a personal grievance of mine personally chat. There's like a few things. Cuz I think people might say like, "Okay, well what do you mean? What do you mean that he's making the platform worse?" Like what do you example? Example. Um I think having a streamer that is actively promoting gambling is bad. Okay, we'll get back to the video. Let's go. This, 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 you know, people use this as examples of things you've done, but in reality, a crowd fund with a small percentage matched, especially we get into what you made during the entirety of those five streams. I think these- Also, Dub Burps, thank you for the five gift subs. Thank you. These are the most more genuine ways to bring it up, right? But when it's used to show a intention, I think that's the wrong part in, in the category of what uh, of what you're doing but the net positive from the effect is the same therefore that's why i don't think there's much to talk about here does that make any sense it's Let's the intention go. that's questionable uh, um and the way it's used as like a credibility is very odd to me um that's the what? issue that's why it was brought up wait you're huh <laughs> the intention of why you did that right a lot of people in your community and yourself use it as like a yo i did this i'm consistent with what i do blah 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 right but i would argue based on right it being crowdfunded compared to the part of what you matched relative to what you make and relative to what you made during the streams of doing the charity that's the part that's questionable but the the effect of the charity is a it's net quite... positive no matter how okay. you look at it uh, okay, you let understand? me just describe something real quick. So you, first Soros. and foremost, <laughs> dude, for someone who... I'm going to be honest, that just did psychic damage to me with how little that made sense. That did terrible, terrible psychic damage to my fucking brain. Who says you hate Reddit? You sound a lot like Redditors, like, especially when you're saying this. I don't I mean, Reddit. This is the most, this is the most Reddit ass, like cynical ass fucking take I could have ever seen in my entire it's life. It's not cynical when the intention I've, is being okay, misrepresented. The intention That's the intention of issue. why I wanted to set up a charity, uh, set up a fundraiser, a, a, a donation portal for the victims of the Turkey Syria earthquake is because in 1999, when I was living in Istanbul, 
okay, as a young boy, I survived a very devastating earthquake where 17,000 people died by the most conservative estimate. I know how fucking awful that shit is when a gigantic earthquake impacts a state, a state that is underfunded. My state that I lived in for, yes. uh, you know, the first 18 years of my life. And I also knew that you can't really trust the government in Turkey. Many of the Turkish people will tell you this. So there had to be a way to fund and to give money to specific non-governmental organizations. I agree. I knew what the non-governmental organizations were. I went in. I found exactly whichever ones uh, were, were the best ones. Uh, by talking to my uh, friends and and some knowledge I had over uh, previous earthquakes and natural disasters. And one of the main issues there was that a lot of these organizations like up up. I'm sorry, I'm just reading chat. It's like one one person in chat just screaming, fuck you, train wrecks, fuck you, train wrecks. Someone else in chat saying, it's the Coke. I mean, juice. <laughs> How am I supposed to pay attention to this heartfelt speech about like how people are being impacted by earthquakes when I just see that, that shit in chat? <laughs> like what? <laughs> Especially Ahbop, uh, did not have a portal to allow ease of access. Like you couldn't just click on uh, a, a link and do a drop down, uh, you know, put your fucking information in and just like send dollars to Ahbop directly. So that is why I wanted to set up a fundraiser I because I knew that the bad we're not arguing I'm, the fundraiser. So that was that was that that also there's a very big difference between setting up a fundraiser for countries that have uh, been basically pillaged by other countries versus needing to set up a fucking GoFundMe because our system is falling apart despite being the richest country on the planet. Like we destabilize the fuck out of the Middle East. And then we took all their resources and then we sent them all our trash. And then we were like, hmm, hmm. Well, now that we've exploited you as much as we could, dude, the, what is going on with the soap in the corner? It's like exploding. So now that we've done all this, now that we've really like destroyed your country and everything. Okay, great, great, great. You guys aren't going to be upset when an earthquake hits you and you guys have no money, right? That's the, that's the main intention behind Yo, why I did what I did. Yes. And there wasn't even, any like I, secondary okay. reason I'm or anything so else. I'm so tired of this. Yeah. Anytime we're going to do the topic, it gets both become like around the pot. I'm going to be the devil. I'm going to fucking say it. Okay. Uh, train meant, Yo, bro. Two mil is dank. Nobody says it. Two mil is not <laughs> dank. using the dentist system. <laughs> I'm sorry. What is <laughs> the XUC translating? <laughs> it's just so funny. Yeah. Anytime we're going to do the topic, it gets both become like around the pot. I'm gonna be the devil. I'm gonna fucking say it. Okay, uh, train meant it. Yo, bro, two mil is dank. Nobody said. <laughs> train meant. Yo, bro, two mil is dank. <laughs> what? what is this sentence? What is this sentence? And prior to this, he said. I'm going to be the devil. Oops. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> wow, this is a real sentence. Says two minutes not dank. Two minutes dank. Thank you very yeah. much for Turkey. We, that's very sweet. It's, it was yeah. absolutely uh, a colossal. It's a net positive number 50k one. for somebody like you is a fucking joke. Hassan, it's a joke. Well, I don't think it, I, I, so there, there's it? a disagreement there. I don't think it's a joke. I, I, I don't think it's a little amount of money. Based on your ad incentive deal with Twitch, wouldn't you argue that, that the days you ran those ads on those days, along yeah, with what I you mean, made, don't they add? I mean, didn't you make when I originally more? started? When I originally started my contract, I thought it was, but it, you know, you're wrong. You're, you're wrong. Like, no, it's not. Was it close it's to that amount? Insane. No, no, not even sure, remotely you, close. Okay. At the end of the day, listen, I don't want to listen. What you did was phenomenal. The, the, the effect was phenomenal. Do you understand? So it, but, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. 
This is yeah. very important to address. Yes. What you're doing right now is not genuine criticism. It's just pocket watching and also undermining something that I did that it wasn't even supposed to. No, based on what you no, preach. hold on. No, that's bullshit. You're just pocket Why watching not? and then claiming that it's actually adequate to do so because you claim you're a socialist. No, I already described to you numerous fucking times what socialism is. Charity is not that pocket watching like a fucking blue haired non-binary twitter user anarchist and being like why don't you give all of your money and live in a fucking woodshed is not actually socialism what? a lot of what? dumb motherfuckers on twitter say that all the time why to me and i yell at them just because what, you're what not is that example the the, the comeback some extreme uh, a rebuttal of because oh, you, you sound like them but you look like an ape so no one thinks that you're like exactly <laughs> behaving like them but you are doing that train you gotta stop brother, brother that blue hair okay you know, let's not go to insults but they do that but they do that they do that That's too they do that they do that exact same shit that you're Where doing your right now they do it to mr beast they do it to me all the fucking time they i'm sure would do it to you if they uh thought that you were like a person who would like risk listen and respond to them you're doing the exact same shit it's you are crying watching. like a fucking it's, sjw I'm instead of crying like an sjw i'm yes you are out. I'm yes, you are. And that is one thing I will not fucking stand for. No, I, listen, the effect of the charity is nice. Do you understand? It's a good thing. What you did was phenomenal to crowdfund that. But to push it's such a disingenuous story, way to fucking like do an offhanded criticism. Everyone, even even the juicers fucking recognize what you're doing right now. You're literally being like, <laughs> you did a great job. But it was like XUC is not here. He's barely here. <laughs> he's 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 only here in spirit. A little bit, you know. You could have given a lot more money, and maybe you could <laughs> just smile. Why did he smile? Why did he smile? You were just like, of, <laughs> and I'm sure you did. I gave you literally a link for a crypto donation. Yeah. I, you only gave fifty thousand. You have like a fucking a hundred, a hundred and fifty thousand. Yes. Okay, you well only gave a you only get a hundred and fifty thousand. You make so much more money than that. You should give more. Great, you have a lot more money than I do, so I'm glad that you did that. Even if you gave ten fucking dollars, I wouldn't care though. Ultimately, because any dollar is good. Okay, the any is, dollar in that circumstance preach, is good. You preach, do you understand? But the There's only reason there. why we have ever talked about the charity. The only reason why we ever talked about that is not to like weaponize it and be like, look how good of a guy I am. But the only reason why we talked about it because with your motherfuckers, your community listen, does weaponize let me, let me explain. Community let me explain. does weaponize it. They do. And no, you they allow don't. Them to. Okay. Okay. Brother, the only so, reason why so there was people, any discourse so, surrounding that was because a bunch of smarmy little fucking dipshits went in and literally went to Speed's chat and were like, it's a scam. It's a scam. The discourse revolving around it and the reason why Will yeah, even brought it up wrong. to you was that because was people literally were saying it's a fucking scam. People were no, saying I'm pocketing the money. Was wrong. And the reason why Will brought that up is because of the unfair amount of criticism that I get that you should be able to as a person you who gets a lot of unfair only, criticism by your... You, you would only get criticism because there's inconsistencies in what you donate versus what you preach, right? If you were to show your dashboard for those five days you're in the charity, believe me, you yourself would understand those criticisms. Do you understand? Really, no, it wouldn't. You don't you're think you're so? wrong. You don't think so. The people who are criticizing Hassan will only be happy if Hassan literally donates all of his money and then starts living in a shack. Unironically, by the way, I'm not saying this as like hyperbole. I'm saying this genuinely. The people who really, really, really don't have like Hassan, they expect him to donate all of his money and live in the most shithole apartment for the most for the rest of his life. And then even then, you know what they'll say? They'll say, mm, whatever, you're showing how much you donate because you want people to like you. Straight up, they think it's like a poverty cult, but it's not like socialism is not when suffering. Socialism is when thriving. It's so hard to talk to someone who has no understanding of what it's just like red scare in the U.S. is really sad. Have you guys ever tried to talk? Um, have you guys ever tried to talk to someone who has like been hardcore red scare propaganda and you can't even the second you even say the S word, they instantly are like, uh, I'm not a fucking commie. It's like, what? I didn't even. All right, man. All right. Train says he's not pocket watching, but then says show your dashboard and how much money you make. What the fuck? Yeah. Yes, okay. you're wrong. You're wrong. But not only are you wrong, you're also not only are you wrong, 
you're also making a fucking assertion here and demanding certain things or even like implying certain things that I'm would not undermine demanding. not not my like well, the amount of money I fucking put into the charity in and of itself yeah. but also like that wasn't even supposed to be I wasn't I wasn't intending on putting $50,000 in there I was intending on making a portal specifically so that we could fucking uh, making a portal specifically so that everyone else from the international community as everyone fucking pitched in Yes, put together that's a lot put together more money yeah. than i ever could have more money than even you could have maybe yes. you could have put that much money you have a yes. lot of money but and guess what ultimately that's still not socialism i created in your words a literal fucking yes. system there you go so that should be yes. charity and at work that should be socialism the at work but it's still not enough because no, it's not enough for you because no, it's not about it, me or what i do it's about how you perceive you, me no see once again it, this is just mental gymnastics political bullshit it's theatrical Come oh my god dude completely dude, your only intention this I time you, i've been bro, so charitable intention. to you from the jump the oh only reason gosh. why we've had this conversation is so that you can try and make I'm me look bad over and over again i've gone bad. above and beyond trying to describe some I've gone above and beyond Next because, like, ultimately, this is good content. About. I've gone above <laughs> and there beyond is, describing is, things to you. Is, Being Austrian with, Austrian with a somewhat functioning social democracy, it's funny and sad seeing U.S. people don't understand socialism. Yeah, yep. There's no gotcha moments here. We're having a discussion for the things that we disagree on to try and come together, whether we oh, come, come on, to a train. place. I'm not a fucking idiot. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm a dumb guy. I'm not a very smart guy. But Brother, even I am not calm. that I fucking dumb. I haven't put, listen, I've responded to you. I've given you very calm statements. This isn't a got you. I'm not going in on you. I'm not talking though. Bro, you, you haven't budged an inch, dog. I literally told you I would apologize to you if you could find a clip because I genuinely would be in the wrong and you wouldn't give me that. But you have never, not where do you a single want me to budge an inch? Not a single where, fucking though? concession. Where? Your Tell understanding of socialism is incorrect. I tried to educate you on the matter. You didn't give a shit. I told you, you examples of when socialism I told you, applies based on where you make the most money and where no, you don't. No, but you're still doing it. Your literal, your literal kidding. example is you. Excuse me, understands what I'm talking. He just hit with the, He just hit us with the system. Whoa. Oh, finally, dude. I have been waiting for it to hit 60. Talking about? You have not been charitable at all. Fucking 59 looks disgusting. Okay. Well, moderation is, is labor for your core moderator team. Do you understand? To yes. Say that yes. Oh my God. And they, like, yes. This is so pathetic. He's just shit slinging. He's just like, okay, well, time to pivot back to the fact that you don't pay your moderators. Isn't that labor? Why don't you pay them? Shouldn't you pay them? It's just embarrassing. It's so, it's so transparent, too. Just like, how obvious what trainer x is trying to do which is really weird because i have never heard of a person trying to pitch their business model to somebody else and then do it by disparaging the other person personally i've never seen that happen but i mean to each their own i guess you know i don't personally show up to someone whose money i want and say hey fuck you you piece of shit give me money that's personally don't not what i do but I mean, if it works for him, I guess. It doesn't look like it's working, though. It is, so is to a certain degree. <laughs> the soap videos keep getting me. The soap is actually really entertaining. It is about what you put in. That is the entire point of socialism, you if you want to consider that. But you're fucking bringing up moderators right now because you don't give a fuck about anything. You don't give a fuck about anything. You just care about trying to win a fucking argument train, and you're not going to win it. I'm giving you my views and you're giving me yours do you understand like you're getting upset but we're both just talking trying to find a middle ground this what is what if the problem no 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 no, no. <laughs> oh my fafe guy i want to know what xcc has to say oh, what if the problem i've been is that so you guys nice to you what if you got what if the problem is that you both don't have the same definition of what the fuck socialism is well, when you do when you, when you have a dialogue well, again when you when you <laughs> I like how, I like how XQC's whole job is just to keep saying that like you two have a different definition of socialism. Meanwhile, like there is only like one real definition of socialism, and it's not the one that fucking Trainwreck is talking about. Oh man, dude. Oh dude, I hate this so much. I hate it. I hate it so much. I hate the whole like. I don't know, Chad. I don't know. I think it's very weird. God, train is such a moron. <laughs> I feel bad saying it, but it's true. <laughs> he just teased. I don't know, man. Maybe I shouldn't say that. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, hold up. We're going to take a quick, quick break because I want to read out subs because I haven't had a chance to read out subs and we're about to have alerts. 
We're, I mean, we're about to have ads, so just really quickly. This soap looks like a mango. It does. Oh my God, it does. Oh, it does. Uh, Genzo, thank you for the prime sub. Um, purple stuff, thank you for the two months. Uh, Leah, thank you for the gift sub. And let's see. Catterbug, thank you for the tier one. Vanilla beans, thank you for the six months. Bye. Oh, thank you, Lean Lord. Lean Lord, <laughs> thank you for the seven months. Uh, Rogue Stereo, thank you for the nine months. Let me see. Uh, uh, I think I read these out. Dicey Fits, thank you for the two months. Uh, Cat Kit, thank you for the ten dollar dono. Um. Oh man, I'm like super delayed in, in these. Let me remove these really quickly. I don't know if he's a moron though. I feel like he's just purposely being obtuse. I think it's a mix of both. I think he's both a moron and he's being obtuse. I think both are true. And I think both can be true. Uh, Dynamic Jab, thank you for the two for the two gift subs. And let's see. Captain Walrus, thank you for the 12 months. Thank you. Uh, April, thank you for the two months of Prime. J dot, thank you for the two months. Uh, let's see. Uh, Neki, I don't know if I said thank you. Thank you for the five gift subs. Thank you. Rubica, thank you for the four months. Raylan, thank you for the six months. Bread, thank you for the three months. Soda, thank you so much for the tier one. Not a sandwich, thank you for the prime. Pop and Lochness, thank you for the three months. Tom, thank you for the prime. Ten, thank you for the tier one. I hope that that's everyone. If I missed anyone else, I do apologize. The crushing, the crushing is so good, dude. The crushing is so, so good. What are these names? I don't know, dude. But I just wanted to say thank you to everybody. Okay. All right. We'll watch a little bit more. Okay. A little bit more. Hey, would you? Okay. When okay. You do Train. Read. Okay. But, let's let's Google what socialism is. Socialism is a political fuck? philosophy and movement encompassing a range of <laughs> economic. And no way. He pulls up the fucking wiki. And social systems, which are characterized by social ownership of the means of production as opposed to private ownerships. As a term, it describes the economic, political, and social theories and movements associated with the implementations of such systems. Social ownership could be public, it could be community ownership, it could be collective ownership, or it could be a cooperative or employee stock ownership. While no single definition encapsulates the many types of socialism, social ownership is the one common element and is considered left-wing. Yeah, I mean, I mean, no, uh, I get it. I do you um, think that that well. is closer? Do you think that that is closer to what I have described through the many different, as I also mentioned, like the many different types of social uh, socialism and different types of socialization structures, and and how I have uh, chosen to operate? Yes, and do you understand that the anti-capitalism definitions within that, within the theories of socialism? you preach yet your entire business model is off of the capitalistic models no you decide what so he doesn't understand <laughs> okay <laughs> how is people giving you money because you're entertaining a capitalist system how i just want to know how <laughs> i just want to understand can i have a tldr on what train wants is talking about i wasn't on socials yesterday evening oh, hi Una. um he's just talking basically train Rex is trying to do this like mental health program where him and a bunch of other big content creators and streamers just like pull together money for chatters that need mental health care right and i think he's mostly doing it as a way to like sort of get away from the bad PR relating to like, you know, being a gambling you streamer. See denims. Capitalism is when a market exists. The less a government interferes with a market, the more capitalist it is. No, I have not read a book. Why? <laughs> Look at this guy, dude. Wait, sorry, I'm I'm finishing summarizing it. And instead of instead of just coming on and just asking Hassan to be part of, you know, this charity he just goes on and starts saying that he's a fake socialist for some reason. And then he tries to like guilt him to giving him money for his charity by saying that if he doesn't, he's a fake socialist. 
which I don't really understand. Look at this. <clears throat> Nobody destroys anybody, though. Hassan is being called out with legitimate facts, and he's not having it. I don't even know what to say about that. You know? I don't even know. I, I want to live in this guy's world where like things that I think are happening aren't happening. You know? Don't you get it? When capitalism is one money and socialism is one poor. Exactly. Also, Lab Child and Gold Dragoon. Thank you for the prime in the tier one. Thank you. Thank you, guys. That's tough. Seriously, though, like go back to school. Dropping out of high school did you no favors, man. That's that's tough. That is tough. That is that is that's crazy that you actually think that he's being dunked by facts and logic. 